So when you have a vehicle with a misfire, you might think could possibly be a compression issue, right? But what cylinder do you check? How do you speed that up? How do you save some time when doing that? Well, we have a nice easy test that we can do using a low amps probe, it's called a relative compression test. And it'll show the compression in the cylinders, not actual values, but relative to each other. So you can see which cylinder you might need to check out that may have the low compression. So let's run through it right now. So I have right now the low amps probe hooked up on the negative battery cable. Now it's also set to a 60 amp scale. Uh, any low amp probe is going to set up a specific amount of voltage depending on an amp. So this is 10 millivolts per amp that this thing puts out for each amp that it reads. So I actually have this set on a voltage setting, not an amp probe setting, because all we're really looking for is what the pattern looks like. I also need to know what cylinder is number one so I can check my firing order. So I'll turn on my channel two here. I have that plugged in on this coil number one, and that's going to act as my trigger to show me my pattern. All right, so I'm going to have Jimmy crank it over here in a second. You want to make sure before you crank over the vehicle, you want to disable the fuel system somehow. On this, we pulled the full fuel pump relay. Could be a fuse, or maybe the vehicle has a clear flood mode by pressing down the gas pedal all the way. So we just pulled the relay on this. So let's have Jimmy crank it over and see what we get. All right. Looks good. Let me scroll back here a little bit. There we go. So there's a nice pattern here. So if I can take this, put it there, there's cylinder one firing right there, and there's cylinder one firing there again. So we can see we have four different compression events on the screen there. So now let's pull a spark plug and see what a bad pattern would look like. I got it recording again, so let's have Jimmy crank it over. All right, and take a look. So if we look here, so it's one, three, four, two is the firing order, and we'll see right around here, there's a whole cylinder missing right there. So we have a peak, a missing peak, and two other peaks. So if you were taking a look at this on a vehicle that even had maybe a little bit lower of a compression, you could see relative to each other, one will be lower than the other, or one will be higher than the other. So it's a really quick, easy way to at least narrow down what cylinder you're trying to look at.